Hey guys, Mini Toy Collector Mom here. I recently had a request for wobbles. And if you guys notice, the body shape kind of looks like a square that kind of comes out at the bottom. So square comes out. Definitely has pretty big eyes. And then we'll get all we'll get to all this detail in a minute. But let's go ahead and draw our square shape, okay? But we're going to round the edges of our square. So the top part of our square, let's go ahead and round those edges, and then you're gonna bring it out. Just focus a little bit here on the page. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and bring those edges out a bit. Okay. And then go ahead and round the bottom. So we have the basic body shape of wobbles okay so the first thing I think we're gonna do is we're gonna do the eyes and if you guys notice if you cut this in half the eyes come right where you would cut the shape in half so I'm gonna go ahead and imagine my shape is cut in half and I'm gonna go ahead and do two eyes two circle eyes and they're right, not right next to each other. There's definitely some space between them. So go ahead and give it some space. And then for the eyes, we have a crescent shape, which is kind of looks like a, the moon, crescent moon. She does have a round pupil. He or she, it's really hard to tell if they're boy or girls, right? And then we have that famous little white spot in the eye right here. So there's a lot of circles going on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shade in this eye. I'm gonna do this a darker shade, I think. And then I'm gonna go back and do this inner part I'm gonna do it just really light so we can just get a little bit of distinction between the white see those colors really stand out all right and then there are two little eyelashes all right let's go ahead and move on to this left eye the left eye looks like it's a little just a little bit smaller than that right eye there's that crescent shape again to the left and then we have that round pupil and the white mark on this one is kind of looking into the right so I'm gonna go ahead and shade that in do the inside a little dark and then come back and do just a little bit of light right here just so we can really see the distinction in the eyes. Now there is just a tiny half circle nose and the mouth is open here. So it starts, the line of the mouth starts under this left eye. It goes up to the right and you're just gonna make a little rounded shape there. And then it kind of comes down, it almost looks like an upside down triangle with a rounded top. So no point, you're gonna round it off there and then there's a little tongue in there. All right, so there are two hands. Definitely looks like an oval that come out. It starts right where those two lashes are right there. And you're gonna come up and over and around. Definitely an oval shape. And this left hand is sticking out to the side. It starts right about where I should draw the eyelashes right here. All right, the eyelashes for that eye. So it starts right about where these eyelashes start and end. And if you guys make mistakes, just erase them, no big deal. I think I want my left hand to be a little more rounder and sticking out. I always draw in pencil just so I can go back and erase. All right, I think I'm gonna shade in some of that mouth. 
do the mouth darker and just do the tongue lighter. Okay, now we're gonna go back and really define wobbles with these curves. Let's start at the bottom, okay? The first curve starts right underneath this eyelash, okay? And it just comes down and around right to where that mouth ends, okay? So there's your first curve. The second one starts underneath this arm. You're gonna come out underneath here, bring it down, down underneath that arm and bring it around. And then we'll go ahead and clean up that line. And then as you're doing this, you can erase those straight lines we had in the beginning. So that second curve, it actually comes up to where the left hand is, that top left hand, okay? You're gonna bring it down and curve it and you're gonna come right under that first line we drew. Just right underneath there. And then we'll go ahead and define our line right here. So the bottom half is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's go ahead and do the top now. We're gonna start in the center, okay? There's this big curved line right here. It's gonna start obviously right where her eyebrows are. Let's go ahead and draw her little eyebrows here and then directly over her eyes, directly on top. And we're gonna go ahead and start that first curve line. Both of them are gonna start right where the eyebrows are. And you're gonna bring it up. Go ahead and bring it over that top line we drew. And just give it that arch. Go ahead and curve it, okay? Now there's two more on the side. You're gonna come up and out. And it goes down right where this right hand is. Go ahead and bring a line up there, right above her right hand. And you're gonna connect that and it's gonna curve. I think I'm gonna do the left side now. Now this other line is almost to the edge of the left side of the body. So it still comes out, curves around. So while we're doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and erase my lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and this line we originally drew Go ahead and define that on that side, on the left side there. All right, we have, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to kind of give this like a three-dimensional look. I'm gonna start right in the center of this left side. And I'm just gonna do a little curve, okay? Just a little one. And then I'm gonna do another one and it's gonna stop right in the center of this first one we did. Go ahead and do another little curve. It stops in the center right here. And then I waited to do this left side because it almost looks like you're gonna take and extend this out like that and then connect. Okay, that last little piece. And then you have this little bitty itty line that sticks out right there. All right, I am pretty happy with uh, wobbles. I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna define my lines, clean it up a little bit, and I'll post the final pick on the cover of my video. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. If you guys have any requests, please let me know. Please subscribe and like my channel. Bye.